Well, no, we already had a pretty good round overnight tonight, but we're seeing it's going to come in waves and it's just really brushing by us. And I was I was going to add to that. It sounds like a new term, but it's actually it's a we discovered we discovered studies back in the 90s and early 2000s discovered the fact that most of the transportation of, of uh, the moisture, which is around the tropics, which is where moist moisture is in the planet, to the higher latitudes where we are, takes place in these really narrow rivers. And so what we used to call the Pineapple Express when it came in here, was actually an atmospheric river. So it's not a new phenomenon but having to do with climate change. It's just we finally have a decent name for something we really didn't understand before. Shorter term now after the science lesson on to the forecast. We did get a pretty good brush by overnight last night with some pretty heavy rain for a while. It has let up. And we're going to see this come through in waves over the next 30 to 36 hours through about midday to early afternoon tomorrow. Right now you see most of the rainfall taking place out towards the coast and this band here down between Seattle and Tacoma and out towards the east side there. And that's going to probably let up here in the next couple of hours. And then it'll pick back up again as we head towards later this morning on the afternoon. Then pause a bit this evening and then another round overnight tonight. You get the general idea there. Olympia looking uh, still pretty wet there this morning and uh, we had uh, just some pounding rain overnight. Temperatures obviously some warm air with this. <laughs> We've got temperatures in the mid 40s to upper 40s and a few low 50s in some of the warmest spots. So much warmer uh, temperatures than we've had in uh, through much of uh, the month of December and the start of January. You can also see that uh, we've got even warmer air probably headed away from off the coast. Satellite image this morning does show this. It's not doesn't have a really firm connection to the tropics like it does sometimes. So it's not going to be as wet as what we saw back in December. But we're going to see these waves kind of move through here, as I said, into tomorrow. And then that's all going to lift northward up into British Columbia by later Wednesday before another little quick hitting front just moves through here for a round of rain early on Thursday. And then we're going to dry out for a stretch all the way through the weekend. We do have uh, flood warnings out now. They've just issued one for the Skokomish, not a big surprise. Surprise there. The Chehalis is expected to finally drop below flood stage as we head towards later on this morning. And you can see that rainfall over the next day or so really does uh, pick up. And we're going to see, at least in the uh, in the Olympics, we could see up to four to seven inches there and three to five inches in the North Cascades. Fortunately, the South Cascades won't get nearly as much. We'll take a look at the passes coming up in our next half hour. For today, we're going to be looking for the uh, rainy and breezy with Freezing conditions north of Everett, and that rain will be heavy at times. Temperatures upper 40s and low 50s. Rain tomorrow morning, but then the showers, and they'll probably wrap up tomorrow afternoon with highs around 50. As we head towards Thursday, a little rain in the morning turning to off and on showers. And then over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday, look for sunshine with temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. A whole four days possibly without any rain. That'll be a nice change.